crushed. And I've heard rumors on the PC version that for modern fucking Sonic, you do like a fucking left dash or some shit, like automatically because it's a fucking gay glitch. Now I'm just gonna be boosting through this shit, showing my fucking boosting fail skills because this game fucking sucks with boost. But anyway, let's just knock all these cars. I'm I'm gonna just gonna like, grind, you know, fucking, you know, do sharp turns to gain some boost and shit. Maybe a, f a fuck up the game because the game is rushed, so I'm pretty sure I'll go fucked up. Yeah, like this. Look at this being fucked up and oh wow, look, I'm freaking doing that in the air. Wow, nice job, Sega, for rushing your game for the 20th anniversary. Hype up this fucking game and make it like what? Three hours of story time, but two hours for an expert Sonic player like me? What the fuck is your problem? I thought this was 20 years of fucking Sonic fucking history. This is it. 20 years of shit? This is just a rushed up piece of shit from your ass. It's two years of story and cluttered with stupid 90 fucking missions that are tedious and stupid and fucking gay hentai characters. Only one classic character, which is Pussy Tails. But who the fuck likes him, anyways? It's fucking gay. Let's get through this fucking shit. Fucking spam the boost because all you modern morons like to do that. Fuck. These games are fucking faggots. Oh my god. This part of the game is for fucking faggots. Not the Sonic 1 Sonic game part. This part is for fucking faggots. I mean, this... What the fuck? Fucking glitch. What the fuck? It's fucking stupid. No, I'm just gonna go fucking go through here and sh... What the fuck? This fucking day! The character design for this fucking section, modern section. What the fuck, okay? Seriously, long quills, long legs, treads on soles, green eyes, fucking stretched out like Gumby. I mean, what the fuck? This is fucking stupid. It's not Sonic from the future. It's fucking dumb. It's a fucking idiot. It's not really Sonic from the future because in the mirror cut scene, it says, um,. He, the hentai Sonic says another Sonic. I think if he uh, saw his younger self, I think he would go, What? what? Why is there two of me? No, no, it's another Sonic. What the fuck? The same fucking glitch. Pretty fucking sad, Sega, that you rushed this game for the 20th anniversary. Hyped it up. And what is? It's not a big deal because it's an easiest shit game ever. I mean, what the fuck? Yeah, so, the modern Sonic portion of this game, it just gets a 0 out of 10 for the modern Sonic. Classic, uh, 1991 Sonic 1 Sonic game, fucking 10 out of 10, with the Sonic 1 bonus as a game, because it's the best fucking Sonic game, of course they're gonna include it in 20 year history, why the fuck would they would not? It's like a 20 minute game! I mean, it's so fucking easy to include that in 20, uh, history shit. You gotta include the best game. I mean, if you don't, what's the fuck your problem? You gotta include that game. I'm glad they did, because they're smart. For doing that shit, but putting this in is just fucking stupid. Dying all the time. I mean, if a retro fan is gonna pick up this game, they're gonna go, what the fuck is this? This isn't Dragon Ball Z. I thought I got a Sonic game, not Dragon Ball Z. What the fuck? Seriously. The protagonist in this game is not Goku. It's Sonic 1 Sonic. And for further proof that the Sonic 1 Sonic is the main character in this fucking game, the a life icon for the hentai Sonic is the Sonic 1 Sonic head. The first cutscene shows Sonic 1 Sonic, not modern hentai. Therefore, Sonic 1 Sonic is the main character in this game. But, let's go over some story elements. The story is, Sonic 1 Sonic is running around in Green Hill Zone in 1991. Then he sees the Time Eater, and um, the Time Eater is like doing a freaking uh, big orgasm in the sky then he disappears and a Sonic 1 Sonic looks at him and is like what the fuck did I just hear? Well he just heard the history of hentai because that time eater's in the hentai timeline it's fucking stupid <laughs> and then um 
Tails is throwing a party for a Hentai Sonic. Hentai Sonic arrives. All these fucking gay fucking friends. Slut Bat. Horn Faggot. Uh, stupid Alligator. And Stupid Pussy Rabbit. Pussy Tails. And all these other fucking friends that suck ass. Pointless characters. They basically... Are there to celebrate Sonic's birthday? Not 20th birthday. It's he's probably gonna stay 16 because Sega are just fucking morons. And if you want to know, uh, for all those fucking faggots who saying classic Sonic is 10, what the fuck? He's 16. He's 16 in the Japanese manual, and he's 16 in the fucking Sonic Jam character bio. What more proof do you need, you fucking faggots? Jeez, fucking modern morons don't know their fucking shit. Seriously, what the fuck? I'm trying to boost here. It's fucking gay. Obviously, this is gonna take the most of my videos. This fucking hentai glitching shit. Oh wow, hentai truck with saw blades. Oh my gosh, so you can see. I don't even have to do shit. I'm not even gonna boost. I'm just gonna do sidestep over and over again because this boss or whatever this fucking chase scene is, which is predictable by Sega, by the way, because almost at every single end of a stage there's always a predictable chase scene or some action scene or something. It's so cool, but it's not. They even do it the Sonic 1 Sonic, which kind of pisses me off. But, um, yeah. There are many glitches with the hentai Sonic, and... Pro I, I even beat this, uh, stage. I chested out this stage where, um, you can just jump in the air while you're on the fucking side of the building and shit and not get hit by the truck, but... Sometimes the truck, like, really slows down and stays in the back. I mean, nice hit detection, Sega. I mean, look at this shit. Look at that. Look at staying in the back. What the fuck? Whoa! What the fuck? What the fuck? Fuck this shit. You already seen the most of the stage. You already seen the footage of it because if you're hentai morons who's watching this shit, um, you've already seen the fucking city escape level because you jack off all over it. I mean, it's kind of predictable. Now, um,. What am I going to do? I, I need to show my achievements. I've still got to talk about the story. You know? Yeah, the story, basically, um, he could sit back in time in 1991. Goes fucking Green Hills, I'll meet, uh, saves Tails, saves Knuckles, saves, uh, fucking, uh, Amy, saves Creed, saves, uh, whatever the fucking faggots are. He saves all the fucking faggots, and then at the end of the game, Dr. Robotnik, which also is explained why they don't fucking use his fucking name anymore, is, um, Eggman now, and he actually prefers Eggman. What the fuck? Stupid Japanese culture rubbing it in on us. Fucking fags. Anyways, these are our achievements. I got them most of all, most of them on, like, my first four hours of the game on the first day, and I fucking own that shit. Most, all of that shit was completed in, like, less than ten hours. This is a fucking easy game. I got everything S rank. Including the fucking missions, which is fucking easy, and I'm just gonna get the fuck out of here. And before I go, there's a statue room, but because uh, Sega hasn't officially released this fucking statue room with the codes and shit, I am not allowed to show it, but the classic Sonic in there is also a different model of the Sonic 1 Sonic. It's not the Sonic 1 Sonic statue, because the Sonic 1 Sonic does the A-rank pose with the classic finger-wagging pose for Sonic 1 Sonic, and compare that statue, it's doing the fucking same pose, but he's a little bit taller, and his quills are a little bit separate and shit, and it kind of reminds me of a general classic Sonic, which it is. Now, the last thing in this review is going to be fucking ranking attack, I guess. I mean... I'm pretty young on the top with them. I just played them a little bit. I'm not gonna fucking, you know, go all out and shit and try to get first, even though I fucking can, because it's that fucking easy. I mean, yeah, I could be, be first if I want, but I'm not gonna play this fucking game all day. I mean, it's... I mean, I've already played of what it's worth. I mean, I beat the whole fucking thing in, like, ten hours, okay? This game is really short. It was supposed to be longer. And... I don't really care. I mean, I can try as long as I want, but get this, um, fucking, um, at first. To get this one, though, I beat him at first, but to get this one, you need to execute some glitches and some fucking cheap shit with the spam dash glitch. 
And I did show the spam dash glitch at the beginning of the fucking review. Um, if you could see me going really fast while so jumping and spin dashing, that was the spam dash glitch. It's pretty easy to occupy, and it's fucking easy to control. And you know, it's just not worth my time to, you know, glitch through the fucking game and say, "Hey, I'm number one because I fucking cheated." It's just like saying, "Oh, I hacked the Sonic one, uh, the Sonic four, uh, fucking." Rank. What the fuck? It's frozen. Okay, you know what? Fuck this review. It's fucking done.